when you graduate from the overly salty boxed stuffing to homemade kind, the question arises of which bread makes the best stuffing? The most important factor is the crust to crumb ratio. You want a lot of crumb and not a lot of crust. And you don't want a very hard crust or huge holes inside your bread. As much as I love baguette, it does not make the best stuffing. Instead, I prefer a basic Pullman sandwich loaf that the French called pas de mi. Cut the bread into small cubes. Lay them out on two cookie sheets and put into 250 degree oven to dry out for 20-30 minutes, stirring occasionally. You want the cubes to be dry and hard on the outside, but still have a bit of give in the center. Let's set a large soup pot of a medium heat. Add four tablespoons of butter, one diced yellow onion, and two diced celery ribs. Sprinkle with salt and stir to combine. Cook until the onions are translucent, stirring occasionally. If the vegetables start to brown, lower the heat. This will take about 15 minutes. Add one tablespoon minced fresh thyme and one tablespoon minced fresh sage, one minced garlic clove, and cook two minutes, stirring occasionally. Take off heat and add two and a quarter cup cold chicken stock. If possible, homemade. The link for my stock is below the video. Mix until stock melts and warms up on low heat to just look warm. Make sure the mixture is not hot so that the eggs don't scramble. Add two eggs and whisk thoroughly until completely incorporated. Add some minced parsley and salt to taste. If you're worried about raw eggs, microwave a tiny bit for a few seconds so that you can taste it. Add a good bit of freshly ground black pepper and stir it in. I like to add half a cup of dried cherries and half a cup of chopped pecans to my stuffing. But those are optional and you're welcome to use any dry fruit and nuts. Now let's add all the bread cubes and mix it all very well. At first, the mixture will seem dry, but as the bread starts to absorb the moisture, it will start to look like stuffing. Put it into a buttered dish without packing. You want lots of nooks and crannies. And bake right away. Or cool to room temperature, cover with plastic, and put in the fridge overnight. Get the stuffing out of the fridge two hours before you want to serve it. Cover with foil and bake in preheated 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Then uncover and bake another 15 minutes until crisp. I love stuffing baked as a side dish, with all its crunchy bits hiding the deliciously moist inside. Just imagine how good this would be with gravy. But we'll have to wait for Thanksgiving to do that. This concludes our Make Ahead Thanksgiving series. I hope you found it helpful, and I wish you and your family a happy, healthy, and delicious Thanksgiving.